Okay, gonna be trying the new item by Tony Lopez. This is um oh man, mosquitoes are thick around here. I forgot if it's gonna if it's on the top or the bottom, we're gonna try in the top. So we're gonna get the stick. There, we broke the stick. See how it's going right now? So let's kill the lights. I even forgot my regular light. I have to use my backup light. And uh, here, see that? That's what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna see this thing going up and down when you get a hit. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, the Bell Buddies does not come with instructions on how it should be placed, but on a conventional rod such as this one, I keep uh, the light away from the line so it won't tangle the line. So this is on a conventional. This here is on a spinner. So as you notice on both of them, the line is away from where the, the light stick would go. Okay, this is the original Bell Buddy by Fishing Solutions. Now, it was meant to have a bell in it. Now, this bell is an Azua Brothers stainless steel bell. And there's a link at the bottom of my description uh, for these products. A lot of these products you will not find on Amazon or eBay. So look at the description at the bottom part and you see the links to it. Now, when you get a nibble or a hit, That's what you're gonna hear. And a lot of times, fishermen like me will prefer uh, putting on the lights because the lights will tell us if there's a nibble going on. Now, if you got people that are close by, but not that close, I say about 100 yards away, a football field away, um, they're not gonna see the light, but they're gonna hear that. And a couple of times I actually had people pick up and come over to where I was if there was a school of fish around. Something definitely whacked it. <laughs> yeah, something is whacking the live bait right now. It was jingling, it was going up and down. Something is whacking, so I'm not sure if the bait's there or not. That looks like a pretty big whack, so it's yeah, probably gone. It's probably gone already. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring it up. But the light, uh the the uh, uh Lopez's light was uh was jumping up and down. Yeah. The bell was going off, so that system works.
Okay, we just took a huge whack on the, on the uh, Okuma lure rod. You notice you got the light up there, right? So let me turn this unit off, see if you can see it. Okay, see, I don't know if you can see it. That, the green glow is uh, the, uh, the new um, product from uh, Lopez. So this is like the uh, newest addition to his line. You'll see that jumping up and down when you got a hit. So you really don't have to rely on the belt too much. I just put a new live bait on because the other one just got torn off. Something big hit it. I'm just going to toss this, this structure over here. So I really don't have to do much. I just have to really toss it out, not too far. About, uh, maybe a little bit farther than that would be better, but. Just trying to get it out past the structure. Good, the bait's still on it. Okay, just gonna gently toss this out because we want to keep the bait on. Okay, that was about like 50 feet or so, that's good enough. Okay, this is a uh, level drag, so I'm gonna set it back to strike. Set so everything's all preset on this. Tighten this up. Okay, there it is. That's my safety clip. Put the safety clip back on. I had the bell on, so let's put it back on again. That was a good whack. That was a very, very good whack. Okay, see what happens.